Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing my whole face on what Instagram chose for me. I did polls on Instagram and you guys chose what you guys would like to see on my face as for makeup. And if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, I will put my handle on the screen here so you guys can go and follow me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get jump into it. So for primers, the one that won was a Tarte Reinforced of the Sea Quench Primer. So this is a product I've never tried before. I purchased this about a month ago and I have not tried it yet because I was waiting for a video to do it. So this is supposed to be a smoothing primer and it's mostly for oily skin. It is a gel consistency and it like is very cooling on the skin. So I definitely feel the cooling on the skin and the gel consistency makes me think that it will be good for oily skin. The foundation I've never tried as well is the Tarte Rainforest of Sea uh, Water Foundation. So this is a dropper, which I've never tried a foundation with a dropper in it and I purchased this about a month ago as well. My shade's in Fair Neutral. So if you guys see me looking over here, that is because that's where my mirror is. So I'm just gonna look there to do the droplets on my face. So I'm not sure how much of this I need and I'm just using actually the Tarte Beauty Blender as well to blend this in. The first thing I can say about this foundation is it's very like medium coverage and it is buildable though. But it actually looks really nice on the skin so I'm not going to complain about that. So the next product is a concealer and it is once again Tarte. This is the Creaseless Concealer. My shades in Fair Light Neutral. Um, so I ordered this online, so no promise that this will be a good shade for me, but we will see. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna say this is already not my favorite concealer just by the consistency. It feels like glue on my face. It is so sticky. So already, I don't really like this. Like, my beauty blender is like sticking to my face when I blend it out. And that's not a feeling I like. Sticky and like tackiness. Not really sticky, but tackiness is good for a primer. But for a concealer, I don't exactly enjoy that. Okay. So I'm done blending this in. But to be honest, it's making my under eyes look greasy and cakey, but it does look give good coverage, but I don't think I can look back the greasy, look past the sticky and greasiness of it. So I don't think I would repurchase this. Next product is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair. I have tried this before, um, a couple years ago actually. But um, yeah, and I really liked it then, so I'm assuming it will be the same thing now. But yeah, so we're just gonna set our whole face with this and definitely our under eyes because they are very 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 greasy and sticky and yes I will catch you when I'm done doing that okay so after that I'm going to go on to bronzer so this you guys will know is not a new product for me it's a Zihula benefit bronzer I have been using this for as far as I can remember a long long time I think honestly since I started makeup like seven years ago but yes, so I'm using that on a fluffy brush from Real Techniques and just going to bronze my face up. So for blush, this is another one that I have used before. So this is the ColourPop blush and this is in Count Me In. So it looks like this is just a nice rosy, but more of a, like a mauve rosy color. So like I used this a few videos back. So you guys want to go in with a very light hand with this or you will end up with like red cheeks which i think i just put a little bit too much on and this is a cream blush but basically you can use a brush you can use your hand it's your choice 
yes. So I am actually going to grab a bigger blending brush. And I'm going to take my bigger fan brush. And I'm just going to use that to like push it more into my skin and basically blend it out a bit more. Just to make it less pink looking. It's mostly my left side that got a little carried away. Yes, so we're looking very rosed up, but it's okay. So for highlighter, this is a newer friend of mine. It is the Cheekstar Reunion Palette from Benefit. I got it about three weeks ago. And in here, we are just using the highlighter, which is one of their newer highlighters. It came out in like 2019 or this year. I'm not sure. I'm believing at the end of 2019. It is in the shade Cookie. And this stuff is crazy, crazy, crazy. It gives the most beautiful highlight it's amazing and it's so big that like a brush can go right in it like the pan size is amazing and we're gonna apply that like it's kind of very blinding and we're gonna put a bit on the nose there we go so our face is done but now we're gonna move on to the eyes so the eyeshadow palette that one is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. So this is actually not available anymore in Sephora. I don't know if it's been discontinued. I didn't check on their Too Faced site, but I will leave it on the screen if it is still available on their site. If not, I guess it has been discontinued, but it is still one of my favorites. It's an oldie but a goodie. So for the first shade, we're going to go into Peanut Butter, which is a very loved shade. And we're going to apply this in the crease. And this is just a like light to medium brown. That's just a nice shade for the crease. And this has literally so many different types of looks inside of it. You can go for neutral. There's a blue shade in here. There's some mauves. There's a pink. So it's not like you can only make neutral looks with it. So that's very nice about that too. I'm going to take a bit of that and actually just run it on the, my bottom lash line. Boom. Now for the inner crease, we're going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade on a more defined brush. And we're going to go in with... We're going to go in with Truffled, which is the shade up here. It is a more deep brown. And very lightly tap that into the inner crease. And we're going to run that down on the edge of our, like on the very end of our lower lash line. Just to give it a more smoked out look. And then for the very inner corner i'm going to go in with buttercream oh sorry butter pecan which is this bigger shade down here it is like a golden shimmery shade and i'm just going to do that in the very inner corner and just work it up onto the eyelid so it doesn't necessarily have like a lot of shimmer in it but it does give a little bit of a shimmer and then for the middle shade, I'm going to use um, a more darker shimmery shade, which I'm going to use Caramel, which is the shade right here. And going in with a light hand, I'm just going to apply that to the very middle of my eyelid. And the same thing on the other eye. Boom. That is it for the eyeshadow. And now we're going to go in with mascara. So the one that won was the Tarte Tardius mascara. You guys all know that this is my favorite, so... I'm okay with that. I have, this is not a new one as well. So that is the eye look. And now moving on to lips. The lip liner I'm using is from ColourPop. I got it in the lippy set and this is in the shade. Dial Up. It is a very bright pink and the lip color I'm gonna be putting on does not match the eye look at all. It is the one you guys chose though. But I do not have any shades this bright that would go with this lipstick anyways. Because on the ColourPop site, the lipstick that I got, which is the Lippy, like, um, what are they called? The uh, Lippy Stick I got, 
is in the shade Cherry Bomb. And on the site, it looked more nudie pink. And this is literally very bright pigmented pink. So we're going to go with it. You guys chose it, so I'm going to use it. But it's not going to go with the eye look, so I am warning you. So we're just going to quickly line my lips with Dial Up from Colourpop. So very bright, very colorful. And I'm going to use Cherry Blossom from Colourpop for the actual lip color. As you guys can see, it is very bright. Not my type of color at all. But... You guys chose it. And for last but not least, we're gonna do setting spray. So the setting spray I'm gonna use is actually very much new to me. It is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is not new in any way, shape, or form. It has been out for a while, but it is new to me. As you guys saw, I used the Jeffree Star one in a few videos back and it did not work for me. It was sticky and tacky and I did not like it. So we're hoping the original one does not do that but i've heard very good reviews on it so hopefully the reviews are right so it has like um it's a can kind of like a hairspray can so it's supposed to give a very light mist so let's see okay it gives a very light mist to your face one thing i can say is it's a very strong scented i can't really tell you what the scent is but it definitely the scent is there but we're basically going to let this dry down and I will let you know what my final thoughts on it is. So, so far so good. It's not tacky. But yes, so this is the finished makeup look with what you guys chose on Instagram. So thank you guys very much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please subscribe and like this video down below if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. See you next week. Bye.